there are some timer functions available in JavaScript, so you can actually trigger events to just execute themselves um, at certain times or at certain intervals. So I'm going to start showing you these guys. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I have a, a web page here. I've got a script tags at the bottom. I'm going to put something on here that I can use to trigger um, these events. So let's say click me. Um, and down here, what I'm going to do is I am going to add an event listener to that guy. So let's query him. Uh, there's only one button on the page, so that'll definitely get him. And then I'm going to add an event listener. And I'm going to add it to a click. Oops. And what I want to do is I want to um, call a function based on that thing being clicked. And the function I want to call is going to be a timed event. So I need to write a um, function that has the actions defined that I really want to do. Okay. And let's have it say, just alert something. Bam. Okay. All right. In here, I've got this function. I have got to call a specific timer function that then calls this guy. So I have to do that thing where I specify an anonymous function here. And I'm going to do this before I forget about it. And the specific function that will start a, t a timer um, to count down once and then execute the event is uh, set timeout. And it takes two parameters. One is the function to call. So I'm going to call show this. And the second is how many milliseconds I want to pass before it runs it. And so let's say 2,000, that'll be two seconds. And this thing should do that. Let's try it. I've got the page open over here. I'm going to refresh. There's my button. Let's click it. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. There's my alert that says BAM. So it worked. So that's how you count down. Um, there is a related function that can cancel a timer that's counting down. So let me make a second button. Um, to stop the timer, and now these guys are going to be different, so I'm going to give them IDs. So let's call this start. Let's call this guy cancel. Oops. Okay. And so I'm going to select start to start this thing up, and then I'm going to select... Cancel to uh, kill the timer. Um, and again, I have to do this as a function. Okay. And the syntax for this guy is that I need to cancel timeout. And I need to have uh, the timer named so that I can cancel it. So I got to do a couple things. Um, one, I'm going to make a variable that keeps track of my timer. Here, when I call this guy, I'm actually going to um, assign the timer to this variable. And now here, I can cancel it. And I think I lost my mind, and I think this is the word clear instead of cancel. I got cancel in my mind because I started naming the ID that. There we go. All right, let's see if this works. So first, let's test, does the timer still work in general? 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. There it is. Okay. Now let's see if I can stop it. So I'm going to click it, 1, 1,000, stop. And it should never pop up because I've cleared it out. Yes, indeed. Done. All right, so that is that is the first set of timing functions. Um, if you want to have this function have a parameter, let's say we want a message and we don't want it to always be bam, we want it to actually be whatever that is, then you have to actually break this guy out um, into a function as well because we can't pass a parameter right here, but we can go like this. Oops. And then we can call this and we can give it whatever message we want. We'll close the function off. Let's verify that that works. Click me. 
one one thousand two one thousand there it is hey that's my message that's now been passed as a parameter okay um, alternative to this is an interval timer um, so that just doesn't count down once that countdowns a bunch of times um, and so what I'm going to change is the name of the function so I'm going to instead of set a timeout I'm going to set an interval and this is going to be quite annoying because every two seconds it's going to pop up an alert. Um, I'm going to go take care of canceling that as well, and that's going to change this word to interval as well. Because um, I need a way to stop this so it doesn't take over my browser forever. Um, and let me show you what that looks like. So here we go. That's still open from before. Let's refresh. All right, so let's start the interval timer. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, alert. The timer is still going. Two seconds later, alert. The timer is still going. Two seconds later, alert. Boy, this would be annoying to somebody. And they'll stop it so it doesn't happen anymore. Um, so that's how you can set different intervals. Um, just as an aside, while we're talking about time, there's kind of a cool thing you can do, which is you can show um, time on screen. I'm going to give this guy an ID so I can aim at it. Um, and so what I can do, let's let's do this in here instead of up there. Um, I'm, not, I'm just going to leave the parameter and not mess with it, um, even though I don't need it anymore. But what I can do is I can say, um, get the date right now, and it grabs it as a weird number. Um, that's like the number of milliseconds since like some date in the past. Um, it's not really friendly to humans, um, but what I can do is tell it to... Um, display something that is friendly to humans so let's select this the time and I want to set its inner HTML equal to um, D dot um, let's see there's like a boo, 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 boo. I'm looking for the one I don't have this memorized because it's a weird set of words to locale time string that is going to convert this into something that humans um, would like to be able to read and it will make the most sense if I make that happen every one second because that's what's going to be the last digit on the screen. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm coming over here. I'm refreshing. I'm going to click it. And now every second it is changing the current time it's grabbing off the, off the system and it's updating my second counts. And if I waited long enough, it would update my minute counts and then so forth my hours and whatnot. So that's kind of a cool little thing. Um, you can grab the time. You can keep it updated somewhere um, if you want to.